Good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Homer here bringing a new tutorial featuring everything you need to know about making a pony thread simulator. Or anything similar. Now you're probably thinking, Homer, you dismal faggot! Didn't you already make a shitty tutorial for your shitty videos? I did, but because YouTube is run by a super evolved form of Nazis, they have removed the original tutorial under a community guideline strike. They have also limited the length of videos I'm allowed to upload to 15 minutes, so that's something that's going to be annoying for the next 5 months. Another note, you don't need to credit me at all if you make use of this tutorial. I didn't invent pony thread simulators, I just merely monopolized the entire industry. Now onto the actual tutorial. Part 1. Documenting the Faggotry This part is easy, and it's also my favorite. Just hop on down to 4chan and start taking screen caps. But wait! What do I use to take the screen caps? What a stupid fucking question, you little moron. I'll tell you the answer. The program I use is GreenShot, and I use it for a couple reasons. One, it has a magnifier and allows me to nudge the capture borders by using the arrow keys so I can get pixel-perfect screenshots. Two, I can easily customize its saving destination for quick and easy saving. Now before capturing anything, if you're using Chrome, a useful extension to have is 4chan X. This extension makes browsing 4chan a lot easier. It allows quick access to the catalog view and even lets you change how the posts are ordered. You can preview replies by mousing over them, or you can open up the replies and view them all in a chain. Once you have your screenshots, you may want to have some show the attached image in a higher resolution. Just take the screenshot normally, then afterwards save the full resolution version of the post's attached image. Now it's off to Photoshop, or your favorite equivalent. Just open up the screenshot, upsize it, I usually multiply both X and Y resolutions by 4, place the full size image into the project, and match the corners with the ones in the thumbnail in the screenshot and save it. Now that we have all the screenshots, it's time for the next part. Part 2. Making the Faggotry Speak Now it's time to match a voice with our screenshots. What I used to use was the natural voices demo provided by AT&T, which doesn't exist anymore. There are a couple of other sites that let you use text-to-speech, but none that I found out let you save the recording in a decent quality. Now you could just play the voices from the browser and just record through stereo mix, but that's quite a hassle. So what I use now is Text Aloud 3, which is a paid program, but if you're lucky enough, you get your college to pay for everything. Just set up the destination folder, and put your text and select the voice and title and play the message to make sure it sounds right. She said she was ready. Then click read to file to save. Now text aloud won't come with all the voices, you'll have to download them from elsewhere. It's not that hard to find them, just use Google. Part 3. Assembling the Faggotry. Now it's time to put everything we've got and put them into one big happy video. This of course requires an editing program. There are many out there, some better than others, but there are two that you do not use. Windows Movie Maker and iMovie. Now, it's been a while since I've used either, but from what I remember, they both suck. A lot. So what are some good programs? Well, if you got the money, or know someone who does, you can get some really nice software. Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, or Apple Final Cut Pro 7. Don't use Final Cut X, it sucks. If you don't have money, or if your college is stingy, don't worry, there are some free alternatives out there as well. Lightworks, HitFilm, hell, even fucking Blender has some video editing tools. And I know some of you little shits are going to ask, Is After Effects an editing program? And the answer is no, it's not. After Effects is a compositing program. Now, I've used After Effects in some videos, like the Computer Chronicles opening for 31, Fringe opening for 30, or the person of interest opening for 27. What I use for editing is Sony Vegas. It allows me to work quickly when speed takes priority over quality. I'm not going into specifics of how to edit in Sony Vegas, as you can look up other tutorials on how to do that yourself, but I'll show you the basics needed for PTS. Input all your image and audio files, slap them on the timeline, and sync them up with each other, and throw on some background music. Once you finish up, render it out with your choice of encoding container. I use WMV, you could use MP4 or AVI. YouTube works well with anything that can use an H.264 codec. Now you're done and ready to upload. I'll repeat the note that I said before, you don't need to credit me at all if you make use of this tutorial. I didn't invent Pony Thread Simulator. So stop messaging me about how other people are stealing my ideas. 
have fun, and go fuck yourselves. <laughs>